We are beyond excited about the new Adams Family show by Tim Burton. A recent trailer has revealed some crucial details, including Fred Armisen as Uncle Fester. Also, Burton has revealed that he's personally connected with the script. You must have many questions about the trailer and Tim's statement. Well, we'll be answering all your questions. Keep watching the video to find out all the deets. First up, let's talk about the new trailer for the show. Things got a little creepy at the New York Comic Con when the complete teaser for Tim Burton's Wednesday series for Netflix was unveiled live from the Empire stage. The footage, which is full of reveals and heart-pounding moments, delves deeper into the mysteries of Nevermore Academy and the threat that awaits Wednesday and her classmates. The trailer begins with the Adams family arriving at Nevermore Academy, giving us a brief reintroduction to the creepy school and its residents, including Wednesday's new roommate, Enid Sinclair. Nevermore has everything Wednesday could want, from fencing to archery, but the creepy atmosphere, hidden passages, secret clubs, and a bloodthirsty creature wandering the halls don't make the best first impression. Moving on, Uncle Fester's surprise reveal got everyone excited. In the new teaser, Wednesday is pleasantly surprised when a threatening figure reveals himself. A mysterious figure in black challenges Adams. It appears that danger lurks in every corner of the school and even in the woods surrounding it. When he removes his hat, though, a startling reveal comes. Uncle Fester has arrived, and he's played by none other than Fred Armisen. Arriving in his Penny's Pooch Patrol motorcycle, he appears to be there to keep an eye on Wednesday and bring some extra humor to the series. There were also online rumors that Tim Burton regular Johnny Depp might be playing the role in the series. If this happens, it will mark his first significant acting role since his defamation trial against Amber Heard. Let's talk about the rest of the footage and some other details. The rest of the footage emphasizes the mystery surrounding Nevermore and its relation to the Adams family. Several views of a funeral for the family are displayed as Wednesday narrates about the Academy's seemingly limitless secrets. She's determined to get the truth about what happened to her parents while they were at the Academy, and she's brought Enid along for the risky journey. Before we see a title card, everything goes full horror for a few shots, featuring a bloody shower and Wednesday threateningly waving two tasers. Miles Miller and Al Guff are writing, directing, and producing the series, with Burton directing and producing. Miller and Guff are intent on staying true to the Adams Family tale, but it's evident they're having a great time creating an incredibly diabolical Wednesday and a frightening, mysterious Nevermore Academy. Following up, some combinations are made for each other. Some combinations just seem to work, and one of them is director Tim Burton and the Adams Family. Although it's difficult to imagine Wednesday is set to make fans' gothic Adams Family fantasies a reality when it debuts on the platform in November. And there was something specific that drew Burton to the project. Wednesday isn't the first time Burton has come close to being a member of an Adams Family project. He actually declined the opportunity to direct the 1991 big screen adaptation, which starred Christina Ricci as the daughter of Raul Julia's Gomez and Angelica Houston's Marticia. And he was also set to make a stop motion animated film based on the Charles Adams cartoon strip in 2010, but that was scrapped. Burton is bringing the wacky family to Netflix screens with Jenna Ortega in the lead role. And he told Empire Magazine what drew him to the franchise. Coming up, Tim Burton felt personally connected to the script. When he read the script, it simply spoke to him about how he felt in school, about his parents, and how he felt as a human. It provided a different kind of reality for the Adams family. It was a unique combination. Burton attended a high school prom in 1976. It was also the year Carrie was released. At the prom, he felt like a male Carrie. He had a sense of having to be there, but not being a part of it. Those feelings will not leave you no matter how much you wish they would. Tim claims that he and Wednesday share the same worldview. Not to mention, Tim Burton is the perfect director for Wednesday. This series is already an intriguing concept. Even though Wednesday played just a minor role in the original films, she's always been a really interesting character. Adding Tim Burton into the mix improves things in a variety of ways. The director has built a career out of introducing outcasts to the world on both the big and small screens, and Wednesday is no exception. 
Wednesday, as someone who will gladly drop a bag of piranha fish into their school swimming pool, makes her presence known among her classmates at Nevermore Academy, even though she never quite fits in. The series is a fantasy murder mystery story about Jenna Ortega's character, who has been expelled from eight different schools and ends up enrolling in the private school of Nevermore Academy. Here she becomes entangled in a mystery that leads to shocking revelations. Up next, Wednesday is the perfect comeback for Tim Burton. The Addams Family is a well-known franchise, so handling the iconic characters and theme is likely to be analyzed by fans of either the 1960s sitcom or the 1990s films. Tim Burton, on the other hand, has the demonstrated talent and experience with these themes and specific genre to make a modern Adams Family project work. Wednesday is the kind of spooky, family-oriented project that fans of the director have been longing for since Frankenweenie. Whereas Burton's previous films have focused on gothic fantasy reimaginings of classic Disney stories, the Addams Family program is perfectly suited to his brilliant juxtapositions of morbid obsessions with average American suburbia. Given that Wednesday is more of a coming-of-age story than the normal Addams Family formula, Burton is an excellent choice to tackle the young Wednesday Addams. This is based on how successfully he portrayed portrayed the gothic teenager Lydia Dietz in Beetlejuice. While Lydia didn't have the tonally deadpan Wednesday's homicidal streak, her fixation with death and the darkness translates nicely to the attributes of the famed Adams Family daughter. Wednesday is exactly what Tim Burton excelled at from the 1980s to the 2000s. And with outstanding casting and production design, the Netflix series appears to be the most promising execution of the horror comedy master's unique style that people fell in love with in the first place. Let's learn how Jenna Ortega's Wednesday compares to Christina Ricci's. As the first Adams Family effort since the poorly reviewed animated movie, many parallels have been drawn between Wednesday and the 1990s film series. The most striking parallel between the two shows is their portrayal of Wednesday Adams. There are various ways to compare and contrast the two representations of Wednesday Adams. The first obvious parallel between Ortega and Ritchie is their physical appearance. Both Wednesdays are are dressed in long black robes with a white collar, as was the character's original representation. Both characters have pallid complexion and vacant expressions on their faces. But the main distinction between the two Wednesdays is their hair. Both characters wear long black braids, but Richie's is separated in the middle and Ortega's has bangs. Jenny Ortega's Wednesday Adams appears to be a near carbon copy of Richie's, which is certainly a wise option given the affection for Richie's Wednesday. Also a big difference between the two Wednesdays Wednesdays is their narrative. Richie's Wednesday is a little youngster who spends most of her time with her family. Richie's Wednesday is motivated by her wicked sense of humor and she's constantly hunting for ways to make her brother laugh. Ortega's Wednesday, on the other hand, dates back further. Finally, visit Wednesday's Nevermore Academy website to apply to the spooky, fictitious school. Before the premiere of Jenna Ortega's series, Netflix launched a website where viewers can discover more about the institution where the story takes place, Nevermore Academy. When you visit the website, you will be taken to a homepage where you can click the center button to apply to the fictitious school or select the menu button at the top left of the site to learn more about the school. Once you get past the homepage, you'll see a variety of different sections regarding the school much like on a real school website. The first section is titled Our Mission, and it describes the school's history and ambitions. This part also includes a promotional film featuring the students, including Wednesday, and the school's principal, Larissa Weems, played by Gwendolyn Christie. The Meet the Principal section follows, and Weems proves a quotation that reads, Nevermore is a safe place for our children to learn and flourish no matter who they are. They have welcomed outcasts of all types for almost 200 years, including werewolves, vampires, sirens, and even gorgons. It also says that as principal, it gives Weems great pleasure to announce that Nevermore is now accepting applications from everyone. She personally invites each and every one to apply to their one-of-a-kind school. That's a wrap for this video. What are your thoughts on the new Wednesday trailer? Are you excited about this show? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.